In this video, I'm going to show you why 335 odd might just be the best defense in this game for a number of reasons. Now, if you're new to the channel, I want to ask you to go ahead and hit the subscribe button. I also want to ask you to turn on those notifications. That way you don't miss any of these uploads. Every single day, our channel posts videos that can help people become better Madden players. And so if you're looking to get better at this game, I would really, really encourage you to hit the subscribe button down below. Now, what I wanted to talk about in this video is I wanted to talk a little bit about the 335 odd. And the reason why is I wanted to kind of do a little bit of a comparison um, and a contrast to the um, to the 335 wide and talk about why I think that you might find um, that this defense might be better than you remember it being. OK, so I'm going to set some audibles here from the gun bunch. I'm going to set uh, the smash return. I'm going to set. Um, Let's see if I can find some. Uh, I'm going to come out in Z Spy. I got verts here. I'm going to go Flood and then PA Dig Fork. So we've got to just come out in the Z Spot and go with a corner route. And um, first things first is I wanted to kind of come out in the two fronts and show you the difference. So I'm just going to come out in 335 odd. And again, I just want to show you what you're working with. So if you take a look at this defense, and this is one of the main reasons why I've actually started to use this defense situationally. Um, and, the, and the real reason is kind of kind of coming back to um, a little bit of run defense. And it's actually not bad run defense from this formation. Um, a couple reasons to consider using this defense number one it's probably got the best four down lineman rush in the game next to maybe the two four five odd which is the basically the same concept but all you're going to do is you're going to spread your linebackers and spread your defensive line and what you're going to be able to do is you're going to be able to send pressure off of this edge with this with this defender right here this is where you want your best pass rusher now with the way madden 22 is at this point of the season you could put luke keekley here um, 99 linebacker with lurker and he could play pass coverage for you he could also blitz off the edge um, it makes it a little bit simple more simple um, in terms of you don't necessarily have to have a safety in that position that's all i'm getting at you could put micah parsons there you could put elroy hirsch there if you wanted to the other reason is that because we have a nose tackle this nose tackle is going to help us um, in our run defense and essentially what we're going to create is a borderline 335 wide and, and i'm going to show you what i'm kind of getting at here so if you take a look at the coverage here you're going to see that we've got this vert hook to the left which i'm not really going to talk about too much but what i want to primarily focus on is the fact that this nickel corner is going to kind of serve as a makeshift 335 wide so if i were to audible to the 335 wide what you're going to notice is the only difference is that this linebacker is off the edge and this linebacker is off the edge. Now, 335 wide is, is largely considered to be, you know, one of the best base defenses if you're trying to stop the run. So if they run an inside zone, for example, here, this is a pretty good gap shooting type of defense where you can really hold the run down. But what I want to propose to you in this video is that the 335 odd is every bit as good, if not better, um, than 335 wide and something that I've been using to shut down pretty much any kind of running attack in this game. And the reason really finds itself in the fact that of, of what we can do with our front. So if I were to pinch my line, you're gonna notice that it's gonna still widen this guy out. And by pinching my line, what I'm gonna be able to do is I'm gonna be able to create, again, a plus one style approach to this defense. So if I were to run inside zone here, you see here I could just kind of fly in and, and get that shoot right there. Now I want to take this to an under center level and talk a little bit about it. And we're going to give you a coverage defense towards the end of the video that I think is going to be very helpful out of the three through five odd because the three through five odd is very good. Um, it's probably every bit as good as the two, three, six will. Okay. Which has the best pressure in the game. The beauty of three through five odd is it gives you that without the, without the possibility of you getting weak boxed. Um, if they were to run the ball, come under center and run, you know, some deuce close on us. Okay. So I want to show you this little run defense out of Tampa 2. And Tampa 2 is really the defense that I want to be able to, to be in. And so what I like to do against Tampa 2 is I already know going into this that it's going to be fairly difficult for them to run the ball to the left side of the screen. It's um, just kind of based off of, off of the you know general perspective of the defense. So if I were to stand kind of right in here, you're going to see that I'm going to be able to have pretty good wide run defense, whether they run wide to the right or wide to the left. The defense is going to be pretty decent, okay? Um, pretty decent in terms of that, in terms of the ability to stop that. So again, let me show you here. This is a stretch to the right, and you see here that we're going to be fine. We're going to be fine with that. And the three technique 
um, or the three down lineman uh, set here. And this is why this front is so good is because it's basically, like I said, it's an odd front um, that you're going to be able to have. And then the last thing I want to show you is a stretch right and then, or the left. And then we're going to talk about interior runs. So if they stretch us outside here, you see that we just have the numbers. So they can't run stretch either way. But the other run that I wanted to just kind of talk about briefly is an inside zone. Um, so an inside zone. So if I'm standing right here and they run inside zone at me, you're going to see again, I've got my nose tackle. Now, I, you could put it inside stuff there and really lock down inside zone. But the other thing that I want you to notice is really what they're wanting. They're going to have to do is run at you. They can't run away from you because if they run away from you, you can kind of loop around, as you can see right there. So if I if they were to run the ball, let me, let's just say they were to run the ball to the right here, what you're going to notice is if I if I have good user, I can just kind of shoot around and blow this up. Okay. If I and the same thing applies to shotgun run. So if they want to run out of shotgun, it's the same basic principle. Now I want to take just a second and spend just a quick second here on, on like an eye close uh, type of ISO type run, which is really the main run you're going to get if you run this. Because obviously, where's the holes? Well, the holes is right down middle. Okay. So again, we're going to stand right here. Now, if they run this run, you're going to see that they're running into two linebackers and one D lineman. So it's not necessarily an automatic advantage to the defense for them to be able to do this. Let me show you one more time here. And again, you notice that they're double teaming our nose. Well, because they're double teaming our nose, it leaves a window for us to be able to shoot on either side of this defense, just like in wide, it's the same basic thing. Okay, so you see how I can just kind of come over to the top and scrape into the backfield and make a play. And then we'll show you, we'll show you that um, like if they run at us, so if they run at us, same thing. You're just coming around. See that? So you're just you're always shooting the same basic loop um, that you're going to be able to shoot. And then I'll show you 95 Mike real quick, and just show you that this run defense is not terrible. Is all I'm getting at. Okay, it's actually much better than you might 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 uh, realize. So because of that, the next thing that I want to do is show you a coverage defense that you can use out of this, as well as um, that's going to give you really good pressure and really good coverage at the same time. So it's the 3-3-5 odd, and I believe that the three down linemen sets, like 3-3-5 odd, 2-4-5 odd, um, even 3-3-5 wide to a degree, and especially dollar sets, they get really good sheds. They get really, really good sheds. So when you can force your opponent to have to pass, um, meaning they're not going to be able to, you know, they're not going to be able to consistently run on you, what you can do, and I've been talking about this since the beginning of the season, this was the first defensive ebook I released, and I'm, I'm just going to continue to say I think it's the best defense in the game because of what you can do from a pressure perspective and then also, most importantly, what you can do from a coverage perspective. You have every coverage that you need. You have Tampa 2. You have Cover 3 Match, which is a good coverage. You have a good blitz out of LB Cross. You have Cover 1 Robber. You have Cover 4 Drop. And you have Cover 6. All of those are very valuable defenses. We're going to show you here that if I flick the right joystick to the left at the pre-snap menu it's going to call the strong safety inside package now please hear me loud and clear i would really recommend that if you're going to run this that you go ahead and sub in the players that you want at every position um, after you do the after you do that package adjustment okay and the reason why i'm i just want to kind of be clear is because if you if you go to this package and you don't have um or or you don't sub them in it'll put people in positions that are not really advantageous to the defense, okay? So you want to make sure that you're subbing in the best players possible at those positions. So as you can see here, and it hides them, as you can see right there with Adrian Phillips. But the defense is Tampa 2, and I've been talking about this coverage a lot because it is a good coverage. But what you're going to notice, with especially out of this formation, you have, this, you have these linebackers, and I've talked a lot about the value of these linebackers, the value of these linebackers is, one, we can crossman them on anybody on the field. So you see I can crossman this guy on anybody on the field. Same thing with this backside linebacker. The other value to this, though, is that I can drop them into zones that are very good for my defense. So in this situation here, I'm going to play a cover two, but I'm really going to kind of, quote, unquote, play a cover three or a Tampa three. And the way that's going to work is we're going to put both of our safeties. You're going to see because we went to that package, it's going to give us these different zones that we can put our safeties in. So my safety on the left, I'm going to put an outside third to the left. And then my safety on the right, I'm going to put in an outside third to the right. So you see here, that's what the play art looks like. 
Then that obviously, as you can imagine, leaves a massive hole up the middle of the field. So what I can do with this defense is I can take this this guy, um, this middle linebacker, and I can put him into a deep middle third. Now, the other thing that I could do, let's say that I wanted to kind of capitalize off of this, this little rush right here, okay? What I could do off of this is if I wanted to have a little bit better coverage on the on the on the right side of the screen, I could drop that defensive end on the right side of the screen into a bluff blitz assignment, and now I'm only blitzing three people. And the only thing that I really have to watch out for is if the running back goes to the flat. If the running back goes to the flat to the left, I'm gonna go guard him. But what you're gonna see is we're gonna get great sheds to great defense for edge threat on that player, and you're gonna see that this defense is gonna really funnel everything um, over the middle of the field. Now, if you wanted a little bit better, what I would call a little bit more um, coverage integrity, and you still have someone like a Judon, and I'll show you real quick his, uh, his uh, I'm pretty sure he has edge threat. Um, but if you, if you want someone like a Judon or you have an edge threat, a good pass rusher there, what you can do is you can go ahead and set everything up exactly the same as I just said. But we're going to take advantage of our edge threat, and we're also going to take advantage of our nose tackle because we know how good nose tackles are. Um, at getting pressure in this game. So what we're going to do is we're still going to do everything that I said with the outside thirds and all that. But now what we're going to do on the left side is a concept that has actually been made famous out of the 4-3 even 6-1, where we drop the defensive in. And what that's going to do is it's going to force, so we're going to drop that defensive in into a vert hook. So we're going to have really nice over underneath coverage. But then what we're also going to get, if you take a look closely at this, is you're going to get this really nice angle for him to get a one-on-one -on, -one on the outside, his edge threat elite activates or edge threat activates, and he's going to be able to get really good sheds. Now, the other thing that you can do from this, and this is a little bit more commonplace, but the other thing that you can do from this, um, and so now let's say we get into a situation where we want to send some pressure at the opponent. Well, we've got a nice vertical hook here to the left side of the screen. So what we can do is we can leave that vert hook right there, and then we can go ahead and blitz that slot corner. And now guess what this looks like? This is basically pinch two. Okay, this is basically pinch two on the outsides here. So we're just going to run a simple pinch two defense. And what you'll see here is now they're going to send everybody out. And we're going to be able to get some consistent pressure. So that's kind of a little mini scheme of this. And I wouldn't necessarily blitz every down. I think you get a lot of mileage, honestly, out of the, th the, the 3 3 5 odd. If you just run this four down lineman blitz, you're going to get a lot of mileage out of it. You see, you get that nice little disengage, and it comes around the edge very consistently. Okay. Now, um, another last little piece of this, um, we know that bunch, if they block their running back, um, if we contain, oftentimes the contain logic can glitch out the running back. So as you can see here, we're still fighting through, and you're going to have a nice little basic passive pressure rush out of this four down lineman um, or four down lineman pass rushing concept. Now, if they block their tight end, it makes it actually even more advantageous for this because you see here, you get this nice instant shed. And as you can see, you're coming in pretty much untouched. Okay. So this is a concept and a defense that you can kind of build off of this as this one little piece of this. And you're going to be able to have your vertical hook, which is such a valuable zone. Um, and you're also going to be able to have that be a middle linebacker, right? So you, whereas with wide, there's really only one linebacker that you can put in a deep third, and it oftentimes is your user. Three, three, five odd, you can put this other guy in there. So now you still have capability to say, I want to drop, you know, I'm going to drop like this. And even if you wanted to, you could have a two man rush concept. You know, if they don't have post ups or something, this is not a bad play. And now this is going to force you know, the edge threat's going to be very good. And you see how fast we're able to get in there for pressure. So this defense, all in all, guys, is something that I've been talking about a lot this year. And it's because it really is one of the better defenses in the game. Um, the last little piece of this is a heavy blitzing concept. It's one that I would rather do other than um, the, the original pinch two type concept. But basically what it is, is we're going to spread our linebackers, spread our D-line. We're going to crash our D-line down and we're going to blitz all of our linebackers, and then we're going to put our user in a deep blue, and we're going to be in zone coverage. And what you're going to notice here is against Max Protect Bunch, and I've been talking about this blitz since day one, this is one of the better blitzing concepts in the game. And you're going to get consistent pressure against Max Protect Bunch, 
even with this concept here, okay? So you can build off of this. And now this allows you to still have that vertical hook over there on the left. So you might want to go with a little bit of a hard flat type of defense where you do something like this. Um, but this defense right here is really, really solid for any kind of max protect stuff that you're going to get. And oftentimes you're going to get instant heat at the quarterback. Okay, so this is a defense that has a lot of pieces to it. We didn't get into everything in this video. I did kind of give you the overarching uh, big picture of this. But then um, another little bitty you know, little thing here is we want a really good coverage on the running back. Drop that defensive end there. If you don't want to blitz him, drop him into the vert hook. And now you can just crash your line out. And now we've got a really nice three um, or a really, really nice coverage on this left side of the screen here. Um, so now you see you've got the two vert hooks, you've got the you've got the um, you know the, the two down lineman rush or the three down lineman rush, which they can't post up. They'd have to have four, I think, not even four. You're going to get a one on one somewhere on this, as you can see on the right. So there's a timer, and as you can see, the defense is just very effective. So I would build around this concept. This is something you can do from other formations for sure, but it, it to me it works best out of three three five odd, and it's worked best out of three three five odd all season long. Um, and the other big thing we didn't even get into is the fact that it has fairly decent escape artist defense. So like, let's say they audible, um, let's say they audible over to like a formation. I mean, even bunch to a degree, but more specifically than that, let's say they go to a trips tight end type of set and they want to try to run out of the pocket on the right side. Well, what we can do is we can uh, spread our linebackers just like this. Okay. And what I would recommend again is I want to use her this defender, okay? So we're gonna use her this guy. But what you'll notice is if I go to try to double team that defensive end, I can't. I can't double team Judon. So if I try to get out of this pocket, it's really hard. So you're gonna see here, he's gonna keep me in here or disengage instantly. And I know I'm with Brady, but I just want you to see that this is how the defense can build off of one another and the steps of it. And it makes it really a, a defense that you can use against a lot of different situations and have a lot of uh, success. So anyways, that is just a basic overview of the 335 odd, especially what I would really capitalize on, guys, if you're really serious about running this. I think it's really important uh, if you're going to be serious about running this defense to learn how to shoot the run. Like you really need to learn how to shoot the run with this, which is basically you want to stand here. And then you run, and you're going to come in just like that, um, which has been probably one of the better gap shoots in the game. If they were to go, to go to trips tight end real quick, while I'm thinking about it, let's say they go to trips tight end. Remember, we're going to flip, okay? And then we're going to we're going to use her instead of using um, Duggar, we're going to use her Davis, right? Because that's going to give us the the numbers advantage. So they go to run inside zone. You shoot around here, and that's a little bit tougher to shoot. Um, but you know, you, it is very, very doable. Okay. So that's the beauty of this defense is that it really can, um, put you in a position where you're going to have a lot of options. You could even run it. You could even run it like this if you wanted to, because this is your nickel and which is fine. And then you just use her here. Now you've got a guy coming off the edge here and then you've got a chance here if they get a good, strong double team. And that's what you're really trying to, to game and switch is you're trying to get that double team on the nose to eat two defenders up, which frees your user up to come in. But as long as you can shoot the run consistently, and that's why I'd say I would practice that a little bit before you jump into a game, because it is a little bit of a different shoot than 3-3-5 wide is or nickel normal or nickel 2-4-5 is. But if you understand how to shoot it, then you can really have some very powerful coverage concepts and very powerful pressure concepts that you're really not going to find in, in any other defense, the combination of all of those things um, in terms of being able to have great coverage, um, principles, and uh, integrity in your defense. So I would encourage you to try this out. I've got a full ebook on it in my Patreon. If you've not become a Patreon member, I would really encourage you to do that. There's a link in the description below. $10 gets you everything. So it doesn't just get you the 3 through 5 odd ebook. It gets you all 20 of my Madden 22 offensive and defensive ebooks. In addition to that, we give you weekly updates with new material and kind of tweaks and things we need to change. I've been dropping kind of some mini guides in there as well, just more of conceptual shifts from formation to formation. Got a couple new defensive guides on the way. Got a couple new offenses as well. So thanks for watching the video. If you want to sign up for the Patreon, it'd be a very good month to do that. Again, it's only $10 a month, and it gets you access to everything.